thing about getting an early start you get the best views morning guys from sand mountain alabama northeast alabama and man we have some amazing sunrises and sunsets here where we live thought i'd share that with you guys coffee and that right there will get you going that will get you going the only thing that make that better is a cup of coffee and watching that while you're standing on the bow of the boat fishing look at there man shopping for something or go looking for something we might find it like on the internet or in the store or something for a certain price but if it's a big ticket item what's the first thing we do y'all think about that hey guys i just got back to my load and uh, i had busted some of my eight inch corner protectors uh, I done it on purpose and you say why well I didn't have no uh, for what I was strapping down I was hauling some it is a sharp grate stuff it had some sharp grates in the bottom anyway I just about had to use something like this to keep the sharpness from coming through and cutting my cord so it basically flattened out I actually busted two of them but the tip of the day is it's better to bust a couple corner protectors that just cost a few dollars than it is to cut a strap and you not notice it in time then your load shift or fall off and hurt somebody and you always buy straps that's what my tea's for so we get all of our stuff at my tea and uh, they'll take care of us and get it to us quick so don't forget about the discount in the description the details are down there with the link click on the link follow the details and get your ten dollars off of your two hundred and fifty dollar purchase now let's get to the video so what's the first thing we do when we start shopping for a big ticket item and we find it say like for instance this truck or this trailer the first thing we do when we find one at a certain price we take that price and then what do we do with that price shop it around we see what the best deal we can get for the money or at least I do unless it's something you know I can get here local around the house and I know I'm not gonna save that much money I might not I not shop it I might buy from somebody I know and trust but for the most part we always shop our stuff around you do it I do it I mean it's just a just a common sense thing we need to do like I talk about in all my videos, pennies add up. Over a year's time, a lot of pennies will stack up to be a lot of money if you do it on several items. What I want to talk to you about today is, especially for you new guys, and not that I'm a veteran by no means, I've got about a year under my belt, but it don't take long in the trucking business. You learn quick or you die. That's pretty much it. But when you start getting on these load boards, you got to pay attention. Because what these brokers do is basically what we would do if we were buying, say, a new truck. We would shop that around. So, and 
so they're going to post this say this load out there and then they're going to keep saying well so and so emailed somebody let me see if it's done taken or you know so and so's got somebody that'll do it for you know 250 a mile would you do it for 245 or you know what i'm saying they're going to shop around try to get the best deal but let me tell you something else that's going on that works to your favor most of the loads out there are being brokered out by a bunch of different brokers and uh what i mean by that is not just one company is representing this company on this load and because once these brokers find out about it they just scatter so if you will pay attention and look on your load board you may find that same load and that same trip listed multiple times one person may have it at say two thousand dollars another person may have it at twenty five hundred another person may have it at eighteen one may have it at three thousand i was watching uh, hot shot benelli that's a that's a great channel to watch if you guys are looking for a channel he's a fellow my key guy as well he represents the same company i do and uh, but i'll try to link the video that i watched in the description if i don't forget but they had a broker and and you'll need to go watch the video but they had the broker pretty much doing them that way watch the video they they recorded this live as it was happening and it sort of proved my point to what i'm saying here look pay attention look at that load look at that load board see if you can find it multiple times see if you can find the best rate on it before you just commit to it something else and i talked about this in another video sometimes they'll have this high rate right here to attract you in then they lock you in on the rate con and then they come back and say hey we got you this load i've got another load going close to there well you take it you may have this load for say four thousand well they may come back in and say hey can we throw this on your trailer for another thousand well no that ain't the way it works i know partial loads are like that a lot but get your worth no matter how many and turn around when somebody starts trying to do you that way turn around and see what the load's booked for because that thousand dollars they're trying to get you to take that load they may actually have it posted for three thousand or four thousand somewhere else or somebody else may have that exact same load that you can book book two separate brokers and book it haul it on one load and double down on it so pay attention to what you're doing on these load boards. It's confusing when you first start, but you'll figure it out. And don't be disappointed if you turn down that $1,000 load if they don't pull that load, that that good load, out from under you. Even though you've got a sign rate con, do not be surprised if they pull it out from under you. That's a sorry way of doing business, but there's a lot of sorry brokers out there, and there is a ton of good brokers. I don't know that I ever ran into but one bad broker when I was running uh, East Coast to West Coast. But now I didn't do it that long on my own. When I was leased out, I didn't have to worry about that. And then when I was on my own, I didn't do it that long. East Coast, West Coast, I don't have to look for loads now. Uh, so I didn't have a lot of experience. I would have ran into more, I know, if I had stayed into doing it long. But... I don't want you getting discouraged when people do you that way. Not all brokers are like that. Not all companies are like that. But I wanted to give you a heads up to watch what you're doing. Watch that load board. Sometimes a lot of you guys are members of multiple load boards. Look at both load boards. They may be on two different load boards. The same load may be on two different load boards represented by eight different people. So look at those. Uh, and sometimes it pays to keep your mouth shut. So say
say if you book this four thousand and say say the guy don't pull that load out from under you even though you don't take the thousand come over here and see if you can catch this one and uh, get in and, and stack it and run it together and make you a good load so i know all this is confusing as mess and if you're not a trucker you don't understand any of it but uh but just take your time and be patient. I know, I know, I know, I know. When them loads hit the board, they go fast. I know, it's like a stock market. You gotta be ready, you know what you're doing. A uh, little bit of advice, and I'm not paid to say this. I don't represent truckstop.com, but I had truckstop.com, and then I upgraded to the Pro. When I upgraded to the Pro Edition, I started getting better paying loads, and I was booking loads quicker and faster. And I had a lot more stats to back up what I was doing. So when I was booking loads, I would know. Like I mentioned, I think yesterday or the day before in a video, I knew what state to sort of stay away from because there wasn't enough loads versus trucks. Stuff like that. But I would strongly recommend truckstop.com Pro Edition. And like I say, they don't pay me to say that. I have no affiliation. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having a great day, and uh, keep your head up if you're new. You know, hey, keep keep watching all these guys that are doing it, and uh, learn as much as you can. That's what I did, and uh, keep plugging, keep grinding, and uh, you don't make no money sitting still. So, get back out on the road, get those miles up, get that paycheck up. Hope you guys have a safe trip. And like I always say, if you want to have a safe trip, you got to start out doing a safe thing. Inspect your truck. Love you guys.